Welcome back, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new library that was just created as an official library under the Altair um, data visualization library. This one is called Dash Vega Components. And what it allows you to do is to um, create Altair graphs and plots and use them and implement them within a Dash application. Which is, a, which is a powerful combination because you can use the, the, the graphs um, and the customizability of, of Altair graphs with the power and interactivity of uh, Dash applications on the web, right? So here you have a Dash a dropdown that updates, allows you to modify the data, and this new data is used to create uh, an Altair uh, scatter plot and display it inside our Dash applications. And you can do this with any type of, of Altair graph, right? If you're creating a bar chart, a heat map, you can modify the data, you can do anything you want with it, and just use Dash Vega components to um, display it inside your Dash application in an interactive manner. So how do we do this? This is what I'm going to show you right now. Um, first of all, this is the app we're going to create. The code for this app is right here. This link will be under the video. Just go to is my uh, GitHub repo dash interactive graphs and then go to dash alt air. And here you'll see some of well the whole code that we're going to go over right now. So open your um, open your uh, laptop and um, uh, copy paste this code inside your machine so you can use it as well. Now here we're importing the libraries that we're going to use for this Dash application combined with Altair. Uh, this won't work if you don't have the respective libraries installed. So this is how you can install all these libraries. Pip install Altair, pip install Vega datasets and Dash Vega components because we're going to use a data set from, from uh, uh, Altair Vega. Instantiate the Dash app on line seven. And if you are watching this video from the Altair community and you're not really familiar with Dash, this is how you create uh, the layout of your Dash app. This is how you customize your layout and add anything you want into your Dash application. So in this case, we're adding just an HTML H1, which is a header with a bigger font, obviously, because it's H1. And then we're adding a dash uh, dropdown component. DCC is dash core components. There's dropdowns, checklists, sliders, date pickers, anything you want. So in this case, we have a dropdown. These are the dropdown options you see right here. And this is the initial value is all. So when we first, right now it's Europe. When we refresh the page, it will be all because this is the initial value. And then it has an ID that we're going to use later in the callback. And this is the new thing, right? The dash Vega components dot Vega. This allows you to display your Altair charts within the dash layout, within the dash app. And how are you going to display that? We're going to return or assign the Altair graph to the spec property of the DVC Vega component. So to do this, you need the callback. Right. If you're not um, uh, if you're not familiar with the dash callback, um, really what it is is just you you declare the input, which is in this case uh, a component property and a component ID. So in this case, we're referring to the value of this ID. What is original dropdown? Is this dropdown? So the value of this dropdown is all. Right. So we're going to take this all, and we're going to assign it right here. To the um, to the callback function, right? Let me make this a little bit bigger. We're going to assign it to the callback function. This is all right now, and we're going to use the dropdown value that was chosen in order to um, filter the data, and then use this data to create an Altair chart, specifically a, a scatter plot, right? So we're taking this value from the dropdown. We're going to um, uh, create uh, or insert the cars uh, data set from Altair. This is the pre-built data set. We'll call it source. And then we're going to say, if origin is not equal to all, then filter the data set based on, on the dropdown uh, value, right? The origin column will be equal to uh, whatever is chosen, USA, Europe, or, or Japan in this, in this data set. And you can print out this data set to see, to see what it looks like. 
But if it is equal to all, don't, you know, don't, don't filter, don't slice the data set, just give me the whole data set. And here's where you built your Altair chart, right? We're adding the, the data frame, the source right here. And then we're making circles of this size, um, like markers. And then we declare what's on the x-axis. This is the column name. What is on the y-axis? We declare the color and then a tooltip that we can see here. You see this tooltip? And we make it interactive. And all we have to do then, once we have our chart, is just return it as a dictionary, convert it to a dictionary, and return it to the spec. The, this is the component property spec of this ID. Now, this ID belongs to DVC Aviga. So we're, we're returning this chart right here, right? So this is what's cool about the callback. It provides shortcuts uh, for um, the, the callback function. This is, uh, the callback decorator could provide shortcuts for the callback function. So this, again, we said the value is whatever is chosen. So let's say we choose Japan, which means this would be Japan right here as a string. And then this would be uh, this would be Japan as a string. So the data set will be filtered. And then uh, we build the chart and then we return this chart uh, to dictionary. We we'll return it to the spec right here. So we're going to return it right here, right to this to this component property. And that's it. And then you have your um, Altair, your fully interactive Dash application, fully customizable. You can do really anything you want with it. And you can in incorporate your Altair charts into it that are also pretty impressive and interactive, right? So this was one example. Here is another example. Let's take this one where we'll just do chart two. We're building a second a second chart with a Plotly Express built-in data. Uh, here's the data, x-axis, y-axis. Uh, condition we're providing a condition to the uh, to the color uh, based on the um, on the numerical value of the y-axis and sorry and, uh, of year I think and then and that's it and then we're not making it interactive. This is not interactive. It's just a simple bar chart, but we are going to return it chart two to dictionary to the same spec component property right here, right? And now we have this. Well, the call the, the drop down doesn't matter. We didn't connect it to the drop down. It was just it was just an example, right? And this is a conditional color. So this is what's so cool with Dash and uh, uh, Dash Vega components. The now you can combine uh, the power of your Altair uh, plots into a Dash application. If you want to learn more about the callback and multiple outputs and multiple inputs, um, then look at the uh, video I have above my head uh, that's uh, called Introduction to the Callback. Um, you do that video, I think it's like 10 to 20 minutes, and you'll feel fully um, confident with how the callback works, allowing you to um, build uh, interactive Dash applications on the web. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thumbs up. Um, always remember, we're better together, so uh, help each other out, and I'll see you next time.